every day. Emergency medical services professionals put themselves in harm's way when working on busy roads and highways throughout the country. While there to provide care for ill and injured patients, EMS professionals often become victims themselves when inattentive drivers fail to see them and strike them with their vehicles. Over the years, thousands of EMTs, paramedics, and first responders have been injured or killed while helping others. Both the federal government and individual states have enacted laws to curb highway worker injuries and deaths. Currently, 49 states have some sort of move over or slow down law in place for emergency responders and highway workers. Additionally, national campaigns like Move Over America have taken up the cause to try to educate drivers on what to do when they approach emergency workers operating on a roadway. To further help address this growing epidemic, on November 24, 2008, a new federal regulation went into effect mandating that anyone working in the right-of-way of a federal aid highway must be wearing high-visibility clothing that meets the requirements of the American National Standards Institute, ANSI, and International Safety Equipment Association Standard 107. This requirement applies to all emergency responders, whether paid or volunteer. As a result of this law, emergency responders operating on a highway must wear high-visibility safety apparel. These requirements include criteria for fluorescent backgrounds and retro-reflective striping and trim on shirts, pants, coats, coveralls, and safety vests. Regardless of garment, specific criteria are provided in terms of their color, brightness, strength, and durability, as well as effectiveness of retro-reflective materials remaining bright under different wear and use conditions. Class 2 garments are recommended for first responders on or near roadways and nearby vehicles traveling 25 to 50 miles per hour. In contrast, Class 3 garments require more fluorescent and retro-reflective material. Class 3 garments are recommended for first responders exposed to higher speed traffic or limited visibility situations. Today, the high visibility safety apparel worn by most EMS professionals is an ANSI-compliant safety vest. This holds true because it can be worn over any garment. While most EMS professionals are safety conscious, not all are truly aware of the startling number of injuries and deaths that occur every year on our roads and highways. Additionally, many have the it can't happen to me belief and choose not to wear their safety vests. While many think that visibility is only an issue at nighttime, dozens of people are struck every year during daytime hours. Many factors contribute to a decrease in visibility while working on a roadway. Examples include uniform color, ambient lighting, sight distance, background color, scene clutter, speed of vehicle, and road conditions. At nighttime, these confounding factors become even more exaggerated, taking into account additional influences such as backlighting and the distraction of certain emergency lights. Visibility is further hampered. At night, in many cases, it is virtually impossible to see a first responder who is not wearing a safety vest. Since we cannot control every variable every time, while operating on a roadway, every possible safety precaution must be taken to increase our visibility. To increase safety and minimize risk, every agency should have a traffic incident management system. Traffic incident management systems help to enhance operational effectiveness, reduce potential liability, and enhance responder safety at roadway emergency scenes. A good plan addresses at minimum establishing temporary traffic control zones, use of channeling devices, and the use of high visibility safety apparel. It has been proved time after time that planning is the best defense. Make wearing your safety vest part of your daily routine, day and night. For a free copy of this PSA and list of references, please visit www.monarch.org.